That's a special bag. I know. Can I take it to school? No, I don't think you better take it to school. You're right. That's too special. Go Where did I get the word school anyway? Mm -hmm. School of fish. Hey, let me see that eye. Hide it with my eye. Oh, I wish you wouldn't play basketball without your goggles. I'm not going to tell you Okay, okay, Mom. Okay. Morning. 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 Well, look who's up and dressed. Well, yeah, Wilma, I usually do get dressed when I take the kids to school. Otherwise, it causes quite a stir. Well, it's not fight, huh? I quit fighting. Just like I quit a lot of things. Well, I thought I'd take him to school this morning. Before. Well, to help you out. Give you a break. <laughs> well, I must be dreaming. Come on, kids. Get your things ready. I'm going to take you to school. Well, Mama, what are you doing? Bye, Mom. See you Sissy, get your lunchbox. I want you to know that I don't hold nothing against you for you and Stephen breaking up. Well, Mom, that's, um, that's funny. I think it's sad. I hope you find peace. Party at the four star garage. Couple kegs, some hot music, a few horny kids, and an old beat up couch. Remember, darling? Nope. <laughs> How'd you like me anyway? Mm, bubbly. Aren't you gonna ask me why I like to? Don't make it. Too much difference now, does it? You're your finger. Well, the wicked witch of the West put a curse on me. She comes into the kitchen, the knife flies right out of my hand, slices half my finger off. What was she doing there? She came to help me. Take the kids to school. Somehow that doesn't sound like Wilma helping out. Oh, she's sweet as sugar now. She's getting her boy back. I told you 12 years ago to leave my mother alone. Well, I'm finally taking your advice. Fingering off Hey, you want your dessert? Where'd you get that car, Nick? No place. That belongs to one of your friends. You gotta give it back. Dr. Randolph gave it to you. You crazy. You haven't seen Dr. Randolph in six months. Where'd you get it, buddy? The day of Dr. Randolph's house. Today. Grandma took us. Are you crazy? Let's put it down. Grandma took you to the doctor in Des Moines instead of taking you to school? Hey, it's not your fault. You did the right thing by telling the truth. Mom, what is wrong with you? Didn't you know that we'd find out you took them to the doctors? They missed half the day of school. I don't care. The truth has to come out. What truth? He wouldn't say it at the no, doctors. No, you stay away now. from him. Make your mother hit you. You get away me. from my kids. Now, don't fib. You are God never going to take my kids anywhere ever again. I've seen abuse on Nick. When is this going to stop? You hit your children. You burn them with Stephen, cigarettes. Stephen, please. What do you want me to do? I want you to make her stop. Your lawyer ought to know about this. His lawyer. Yes, if his lawyer knows what a sinner you are, Stephen's going to get his rightful deal out of this divorce. Now, I'm only trying to protect my son. 
You have killed this marriage. It is sitting there bleeding on the sidewalk. What else do you want? As the days go by, I can look in her eyes and see it fade. What? What? I'm going to take you out right now. Right now. Come on. Go ahead. I got to take you out. If you want to argue, you argue with the cops. You picked the wrong night, cowboy. It's all over. It's always to her wrong. I don't dare you to give me more ulcers than I already got. Stay out of it, huh? I can handle them. Oh, you've got that expression again. What's the matter? Mommy dares get on your case again. Stephen won't say a word to her. He just stands there and takes it like a lump. Well, here comes something to cheer you. Take you another round here. Have a nice time. Not tonight, Zach. I am not in the mood. That's like Reggie Jackson saying he don't feel like getting up to bat. said you could take my kids to live in Arkansas. Our lawyers will discuss. You're damn right. What's he do? Push for an oil company. Pipeline repairman. All across the South Central region. Treats me like a queen and I can talk to him. Great. Is that all you have to say? I can't stand these silences. I don't want our kids to grow up in a house where no one even talks to each other. You know, every time I see you anywhere, all I see is Wilma's cold stare. Well, I'm not going to let anybody shut me down like that. Not her, not you. Okay, guys. I just got to get going. Okay. I miss you. Okay, Sister Buck. Come on in, sissy. Nancy. Whatever you do, I'll still love you.
These are my daughters. Heather and Crystal. Hi, girls. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. so badly. I made a mistake. I want to try again, you and me. What do you want me to say? What you said when I left. Well, it still goes. Okay. <laughs> okay. my children. Benjamin's got to be picked up from school. Dennis the point. Thanks for taking such good care of the kids. Documents came. So we're divorced? As far as I can see, it's just a piece of paper. Does that mean you'll take me back, even after what I've done? Well, that depends on why you've come back. Realize that I love you more than I hate your mother. Let's just start. Yeah, well, we need to start. We've got to make some changes. Things would be a lot better around here if you would just tell Wilma to leave us alone. Do you think you could do that? You think you could keep your shorts up for more than five minutes? Stephen, I'm really sorry. I'm asking you a simple question. Yeah. I'll take care of my mother. Hey, hey. Think there's any chance that I'm going to pass this real estate test? <laughs> No offense, but uh, you never were the world's greatest student. Yeah, but I'd be great at selling real estate. You got a big enough mouth. Okay, Vicky. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? You mad about me leaving the bar? <sighs> you do what you gotta do. I didn't have to understand it. I'm not saying that it's going to work or anything, mm. but i got to try to get a normal job. No offense, it's no offense, with no temptations, and try to pull my family together. What does Stephen have to say about that? <laughs> well, let's put it this way. I've been back for three weeks, and we're still not sleeping in the same bed. Oh, God. Well, you know, he's got his own sense of things, honey. Yeah, kind of like a tree stump that never moves. <laughs> well, you take it slow. Because you got all the time in the world. What are closing costs? Closing costs are charges assessed to the buyer when making a real estate purchase. Market price, the price paid regardless. Regardless of pressure motives, yeah, or intelligence. <laughs> I am ready, I am ready, I am ready.
just want your money. It's in my purse in the wallet. Why are you listening to that garbage? How can you afford such a nice car? My husband bought it. I should tie you up and throw you in the river. Let me see this. Are these real? Yeah. Get on the floor. And stay there. Wait ten minutes, then drive to the interstate. I'm gonna get in my car and follow you to make sure you don't come back and you don't go to the police. I've got your driver's license. I've got your address. If you go to the police, I'll kill your children, do you hear? And even if I'm in jail, don't think you're safe. Because my brother will come out to where you live and do it for me. Understand? Call the police, and your kids are dead. Deanne Wolf, I from Polk County Rape Services. Nancy has told us she doesn't want to call the police. It's your choice. If I call the police, I'll kill my children. Was that a threat he made to you? Okay. Hopefully we'll get this man. We'd like to encourage you to be examined, so we'll have the evidence if you choose to press charges later. Right now, is there someone that you'd like to call, a relative or a friend? I'd be happy to help you make the call. What was it, a car accident? Uh, no, Mr. Ziegemeyer. Physically, your wife is fine, but... She's having a hard time. She was attacked this morning, and she was raped. Uh, I'll be down there in an hour. I think that Nancy would like to talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you made me do it. 
I'm coming. No, 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 you can't come. Please, you have to stay with the children. He knows where we live. Now, you just calm down now, and you talk sense. No, no, he, he took my address out of my wallet. He has our address. You have to stay with the kids. He said that if I went to the police, he would kill the children. All right, all right. No, I think you, I think you've got to go to the police. No, I can't call the police unless you tell me that you're staying with the kids. You have to watch the children. Please, just have Vicky come. All uh, right, okay. I'm sorry, Stephen. You made me do those things. I'm sorry. We need to look for physical evidence that will connect the assailant with the act if he is apprehended. Is that okay with you? Now just open your mouth for me. Detective Roth aside the case. He's not like the rest. Detective Roth, Des Moines Police. Hi, Dan. Hi. Nancy, I know you've been through an ordeal, and I don't want to put you through another one, but we have to get some information. Yes, if you do. I want to take you back to the place where he raped you. No, no. That's if you can find the strength, I want you to help me now while everything's fresh in your mind. It's your choice. Good girl. He was black, medium, dark skin. And with a voice I'll never forget. He, he was cool. He uh, never lost his cool. What was he wearing? He was wearing a uh, navy pinstripe suit and white socks. I only saw parts of him. My head was covered with my coat the whole time. He took my wedding rings. Okay, I'll uh, need a description of those later. Nancy, did you at any time see his face? his face. Did, did you see any scars, anything unusual about him? Uh, he had alcohol on his breath. He said he was going to kill my children. All the doors were locked except for the driver's side. I should have locked the driver's That's side. Not blame you, Nancy. None of this is. Oh, Nancy, I was just so stupid. You weren't stupid, Nancy. She was stupid because he is gonna no, get caught. I don't want to go back there. I'm so cold. You're okay. No, no, I'm really. You're mean, Nancy. You're mean. I'm really cold. Can we just stop? I'm just, I'm just cold. Just stop for a minute, okay? Right. Yeah. Shh. Shh. I'll 
She's okay. Oh. What did he do to you? Detective Ross. Nancy, how you doing? Not so great. I haven't heard from you in a long time. I don't know what's going on. I mean, this man threatened to kill my children. Are you doing anything about it? Nancy, I promise you, now, we're working on it. The pawn squad is checking every pawn shop in the county for your wedding rings. It's only been two weeks. Yes, yeah, so you're going to call me when you know something? We're working on it. Okay. So, what's up? Oh, I'm doing the damn thing about it. Oh, God, yeah. hey, Stephen, would you go with them? Hey, Nancy. You know, I think if some guy wants to kill us, he's probably not going to uh, come ringing on the doorbell. Uh -huh. What is your mother doing here? I told her about what happened. You told your mother? I thought that if you had another woman to talk to, it might make it easier. But your mother? Well, you know, she understands more than... Stephen, I trusted you. This was between us, our secret. I didn't want anyone to know about it. God! Daddy. He's 
gonna kill us. Come here. Come on. Look, nobody's gonna kill you. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Morning. Hey. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Dad. Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Just don't talk to me. I'll wait with the kids uh, with the bus. Wilma, I know that you are just laughing up your sleeve. You're wrong, Nancy. You hate my guts. Nothing would make you happier than to see me brought low. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking she got just what she deserved. Nobody should have to go through what you're going through. You go with the kids, I'll do the dishes. Wilma, you don't... He told me Lisa Smith was at her mom's. I'd go where he told me to, and the apartment's empty. Make yourself comfortable. Now, she pawns the rings two weeks after the attack, and Bobby Lee Smith is giving me to run around? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that puts him right in the ball game. Oh, God, my rings. Are they yours? I had him made up special for our wedding. I never thought I'd see him again. I need them back. Sorry, it's principal evidence. No, I, I can't. They'll be returned to you after the trial. You gonna arrest this character? If Nancy can identify him. What's the penalty for rape? I'm going for the more serious charge. Now, he drove her around. That makes it kidnapping. If we get him on kidnapping, we can put him away for life. This one with the clerk. Hi, Nan. Um, I know this is extremely dumb, but we're lost. We can't find the trial. Nancy, Stephen, I think I told you the victim doesn't need to be here for pretrial motions and jury selection. No, I know. I just wanted to be there. Anyway, the case has been continued. Continued? Uh, what, what does that mean? That means the trial has been postponed, possibly for a few months. Months? Why? Would you excuse us for a minute, Kathy? Come in, sit down. Come on, Stephen, please sit down. Nan Horvath. Can I call you right back? Thanks. Okay. It's technical. But basically, we're using a DNA test. But Bobby's lawyers are saying the test is too new to be reliable. So right now we're locked in this legal battle over the admissibility of DNA evidence in the state of Iowa. Excuse me if I'm not exactly impressed with all that, but this is the man that threatened to kill my children. It has been over five months, and just recently I started letting them take the school bus alone. Nancy, are you seeing a counselor? Counseling is not what we're looking for. You don't even have the common courtesy to give me a call and tell me that my trial has been postponed? I mean, this is my case. You are my lawyer. I am not your lawyer. I represent all the people of Polk County. I'm a prosecutor. And this is not your case. You are a witness for the state of Iowa. And where is my lawyer? I'm the one who was violated. No criminal justice system provides a lawyer for the victim. I may not understand this, but it doesn't seem right to me that I should not have a lawyer and he does. I don't have to understand. These are principles of law. Why don't you leave the law to me? You know, I didn't go to college. 
that I know when someone is telling me to take a flying leap. Nancy. Nancy. Come on, sis. See if you can catch me. Junkie, that's all. Well, you do have an appetite. You've had all the men in town. Now you go around picking them up off the street. gonna make the kids cheeseburgers. I mean, they wanted cheeseburgers. And I went to the grocery store and... Well, I'm, I'm just gonna make a macaroni and cheese. I mean, my, my grandpa always just used to make us macaroni and cheese. So I, I thought that would be okay if I just... Gotta lay off, Nancy. Well, what did I do? Whole damn town knows. I told two people, and they were supposed to keep quiet. Whatever hatred you've got for her, I want you to put it aside. I have got nothing against Nancy except one thing: she abuses her children, and I'm not going to let her get away with it. Nancy doesn't abuse anybody. There's other ways to discipline. Children should not be hit. Not with hands, not with belts, not with cattle whips. Oh. Can you hear yourself? What? Yeah, well, you're not talking about Nancy. You're talking about you. Your father used to take you down to a barn and beat you with a cattle whip. Now, that's not Nancy. I know what happened to me, and it's not going to happen to my grandchildren. I don't want her taking this rape out on them. She's not taking anything out on anybody. And that's all I told your neighbors to watch out for. Look, now, we're trying to pull this family back together. Now, if you want to be part of this family, then you just better start acting that way. Stephen, she is a sex fiend. She slept with everybody in town. Now, why would you want to stay with a woman like that? How can you talk so stupid and mean, huh? Don't you dare ever speak disrespectfully to me. I don't want you in my house anymore. You hear me? Stephen. I'm sorry. Don't you come into my house anymore. You're here. Stephen. Stephen, if anything happens to my grandkids, their blood is going to be on your hands. Never lost a life before with the kids. Oh, you kid yourself. You've always had a temper. 
even before it happened. Don't you make love to me? Been a long time. I've got to know if you still love me. If you could stand and touch me. and get a library card. I want to start learning about principles of law regarding rape. What's that? And then I can understand what Nan Horvat is talking about, take charge of this case, and stop feeling like dog meat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Pizza. testimony of the statistical results of the DNA test. Does the defense convince the judge that our expert witness was incredible in statistical analysis? Right. But in the case of People versus Collins, I, mean, I respect the fact that you're reading. I really do, but it's not that simple. No, it is. It is that simple. This man has got to be put away. But no, see, it's just because I am a victim. I am just another witness. See, look. Look at this deposition, NZ. Who is that? I mean, she doesn't even have a name. That's to protect your privacy. See, I was worried, but now it's worse than before. Now it's nothing, and according to the law, I don't exist. It's not a perfect system. But if we work within it, we'll prevail. You gotta try and be patient. When we get to court in September, I will have this case so... September? Yeah, the trial's gonna continue to... No, I can't wait until September! My family can't wait. The trial has been continued again. What am I supposed to do? Stephen. As long as rape is deemed unspeakable, it is therefore not fully and honestly spoken of, the public outrage will be muted as well. Call her. Call who? This editor, Geneva Overholzer. She's saying that victims have got to come forward. Come forward and do what? And say what happened to oh, Stephen, I couldn't do that. I wish you could. Yeah, what if my name wound up in a newspaper and everybody knew what Bobby Lee Smith did to me? Yeah, so what? Huh? I mean, if he hit you over the head with a stick, you'd do something about it. I bet you there's a lot of gals out there going through just what you are. Well, let one of them speak up. Well, you could do it. You're strong. And you're a little bit outspoken. Mr. and Mrs. Egenmeyer, could you come with me, please? Come on in, please. 
Hi. I'm Geneva Overholzer. Hello. Won't you sit down? Well, how can I help you? Go on. My name is Nancy Ziegemeyer, and this is my husband, Stephen. I was raped. Nancy, I'm sorry. First, I was raped by this man, and now by the legal system. They postponed my trial four times. After reading your editorial, I thought maybe you could do something. I can. I can do your story. What, what exactly do you mean by my story? What I see is a major hard-hitting series about a rape. And not an anonymous rape, but a rape of a woman named Nancy Ziegenmeyer. From the moment it happened until the conclusion of the trial. You would use my real name? That's what makes it news. And for the first time in Iowa journalism, we publicly name the victim. When we can talk as openly about rape as we can about other crimes, we'll be able to start lifting the burden of shame. That burden will never disappear until women can stand there and say, this happened to me. How does that sound so far? Scary, but possible. Possible. Let's talk about some basic facts. Where did you both grow up? Both grew up in Grinnell. High school sweethearts? How long have you both been married? Twelve years. Is there something wrong? No, it's just these questions. I don't know. What's going to happen when this story comes out? Your picture will go out to a statewide circulation of 400,000. Everyone in Iowa will know the intimate details of what happened to you and your family. It just seems to me that if you have trouble answering these basic questions, I think you should go home and think about it. If you're going to do this, you better not lie. I didn't lie. Yes, you did. You said we were married and we're not. We're divorced and we're living in God knows what kind of a cockeyed arrangement. It's called a love nest, darling. This lady is interested, so you do this or don't do it, but you be honest. Fine. Then you be honest with me. How is it going to feel when the guys in the shop read in the paper exactly what Bobby Lee Smith did to me? Isn't that going to embarrass you to death? I'd be ignorant. It wasn't your fault. Well, how about when people say with a past like her, she deserved it? She was probably asking for it. What are you going to say to her? I don't know what I'm going to say. The thing is, you get this off your chest, get this guy into jail, and maybe then we can put this behind us and get on with the rest of our lives. Stephen, stay with me here. That's what we both want. Hi. Oh, hi. How are you doing? I think this was a mistake. What? Well, I, I shouldn't have called you. Oh, no, I'm so happy to be here. Look, you're facing a really hard choice. Uh, Evelyn? Yeah, let them, them publish my story in the paper and... Worrying what everybody's going to say about it and how it's going to affect the kids and all that stuff. That just isn't the hardest part. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. The hard part is Steve. Was it his idea to go to the paper? Yeah. But, uh, I just don't think he knows what he's getting into. What is he getting into? I'm sorry. <laughs> Nancy, can you talk to me? I think Stephen's going to leave me. <laughs> Why would I leave you? Because, um... When he reads in black and white who I really am and what I've really done. You mean 
what you were forced to do when you were raped. You know, what I've done with other guys and we running off to Arkansas. Have you talked about this with Stephen? No, he doesn't talk about his feelings. Never has and he never will. So are you afraid that if you go forward with the newspaper article that you'll be exposed and that Stephen will somehow hate me? But what? But from other things you told me, there's another really strong part of you that wants to get out there and fight the legal system and say that I am me and I am not a statistic. I am a person with a name. That's a powerful statement. A woman knows Are you crazy? I was hoping maybe you'd think it would help the trial. Don't you realize what'll happen if the story is printed prior to the trial? No, it won't be. It'll cause another continuance. Prejudice the public, create grounds for an appeal, or an outright dismissal of the case. The editor said that nothing would be published until after the trial there is, is over. There is absolutely no reason to trust her. Why not? Because they only want to sell newspapers. Why didn't you come to me first? Oh, right. This is not my case. You're just a witness here, remember? You spend a couple hours in a law library, and suddenly you're an expert on the law? You have no idea how hard everyone in this office has been working to do this right. It takes patience and skill. Not blowing a whole year's work because Nancy Ziegenmeyer needs attention. You are being totally unprofessional. All right. In my professional opinion, if this story comes out before the trial, it's over. He's out there on the street, free to do it again. I just couldn't stay home today. Well, I can't go in there. I thought maybe you'd reconsider. Nancy, if the jury sees that you can function, that you can breeze into the courtroom and sit there, they're not going to believe how badly you were traumatized by this crime. All right, I'll just wait right here. Go home. It's better if you just go home. I'll be there. I'm going to stay with you. No, go on in. It's okay. Excuse me. Go on in. State's Exhibit Number 21, a map of the neighborhood surrounding Grandview College. Could you show the jury where Nancy's car was parked when the suspect left her? Testify. Pretty smart, huh? 
Who is it? It's Bobby's wife and his children. What is it? I just never imagined the man that raped me was having children. Bobby, how far did you get in school? I completed two years of college. Where were you on the evening of November 18th? My wife, Lisa, and I went to a place called the Elks Lounge, and we were home around 2.15 in the morning. Bobby, between the time you got home from the Elks Lounge at 2.15 in the morning, the time that Lisa left for her appointment, did you ever leave your residence? No. No, I didn't. I mean, anybody could see the man was lying. Ed, you were so cool, I'm sure the jury believed. No way. You're not testifying against him. Everyone's going to say, there's the town slut. Don't talk like that. You know what I think? I think that report has just been nosing around too much. Don't even think like that. Well, there was a time. But I am way past that now, and Steve knows it. Don't you know? Past what? Huh? Drinking and dancing? <laughs> Come on, not tonight, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. man. You really feel like dancing? <laughs> okay. Slow down. Come here, baby. She said, stop and smell the roses. started to pull at my jumper and then I tried to hold it down but I couldn't and what happened next then he said he wasn't gonna rape me because he didn't think I looked like I was worth it and then what happened and then he decided to rape me Nancy is the person who did these things to you in this courtroom today yes did you point him out? <laughs> it's that man right there. <laughs> May the record reflect that the witness has identified Bobby Lee Smith. Nancy, I'm sorry to have to ask you this. But at any time, did you give Bobby Lee Smith permission to have sex? No. No. No.
Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? Yes, we have. Can you have your verdict to the bail, please? Will the defendant please rise? We, the jury, find the defendant, Bobby Lee Smith, guilty of the crime of kidnapping in the first degree. Members of the jury, thank you. You are dismissed. This court now stands adjourned. Just lost half our readers. I don't care. I really don't care. Because if we can't talk openly about rape in our newspaper, then I don't know what a newspaper is all about. Nancy Ziegemeyer took a big risk, a really big one. And I will not meet her courage with our timidity. years ago, you're still a rape victim. Somebody left this coffee cake on the porch. Well, you take care. Okay, bye. The phone has not stopped ringing in four days. I must have taken over a hundred phone calls. Good or bad? Great. I mean, these women are thanking me for coming forward. Oh, my God. Hello? Oh. Hi, Phil. I'm glad to be here. <clears throat> I'm very happy to be here. How are things with you and Marlo? <laughs> well, they told me to dress like a Midwestern housewife. The only ones I know wear t-shirts and jeans. Let's quit fooling each other. What are you talking about? You don't want to be here. In this house. With me. You know, it's... Looks like when you ran away that last time with that man from Arkansas. Are you leaving us again? For what? There are a lot of rape victims out there who need help. And they're asking for me. And who the hell appointed you to be God's gift to rape victims? This is the first time in my life that I can do something useful. Now it sounds like you're happy you got raped. Stephen... It's just another, uh, another way to show off for Nancy. Just like dancing on the table, it's just like that. You are the one that told me that I should go to the newspaper. That I was strong, that I could help other people. That's right. And then when the articles came out and when the trial was over, we were gonna see if we could get this straightened out between us. 
You said, you hang in there, Stephen. So I did. I hung in. But something else has come up, I guess. This damn TV thing. Nancy, you don't want me. You want a national audience. You're just mad because I'm taking control of my life and you can't stand it. Well, then you just tell me what I'm supposed to do. Do I just wave hi when you're on the tube and the kids are pulling each other's hair out? I think your priorities stink. And since I'm not one of them, I don't intend to burden you with my presence any more than is necessary. Hey, I've had it with you. Don't you expect me to be here when you come back? Here. That came from Detective Roth yesterday. Your limo is here. tell you what a very brave young woman you are and that what you have done by telling of all the horrors dear is to Nancy, help others not be afraid to a wave of story. emotions has filled me since first having read the register this morning I am a 31 year old single male with only a high school education dear mrs. Zegenmeyer sadness fills me I am the survivor of childhood incest and each attack by my father was like a rape you are an inspiration. Dear Nancy, After I was raped when I was nine years old by a stranger in my neighborhood. It was a bright, sunny summer day, and this young man lured me into the woods near my home and threatened to kill me. Dear Mrs. Siegenmeyer, I am a rape victim. I was beaten beyond recognition when someone broke into my home. I share with you as a sister Nancy Siegenmeyer, how I was treated. Forty years ago, I was a victim of childhood sexual abuse. I still sleep with a gun under my pillow. Dear Mrs. Ziegler, I was raped two years ago. I, like you, have children. I write to congratulate you for your courage. Dear Nancy, I wish I could have the As the father of a 15-year-old who was raped last summer, I'm writing Dear to say Nancy, how frustrated I am with the legal I read your story in the register. When he raped me, Nancy, he murdered my soul. I'm a 60-year-old farmer. I trust your sharing will bring blessing to many and occasion your May continual you know God's healing. healing. Thank you for your courage. In Jesus' name... I pray for My you. My thoughts are with you all. You are a role model Your for Your bravery has inspired us all. I know that we all love Land you. Pennsylvania. Collingswood, New Jersey. Ashland, Oregon. Vestavia Hills, Alabama. Natchitoches, Louisiana. Blackstaff, Arizona. Washita, Iowa. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Allen, Oklahoma. Mount Research, Georgia. Amarillo, Texas. I saw Nancy on television. And, uh, I read the article when it came out. I gotta get to work. I, I just want you to know I think it's a story that needs to be told, and I think Nancy's right to tell it. But you're the one that's being left behind, huh? You're suffering for it, I can see it. Yeah, well, I'll live with it. Stephen, don't be like me. Don't bury your troubles. Our family's never been much for talking things out. I guess I got that from my dad, but there's some things that need to be said out loud to each other. I'm just sorry that they never were. Why is that, Mom? It always just gives you a bellyache to talk about things. That's not as bad as an ache in your soul that lasts for years. Years. Now we're back with Nancy Zigginer. Well, Nancy, you had big news today. Yes. Um, the sentence was handed down in my case. Bobby Lee Smith was sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. It is no reason to applaud. Bobby's children 
will grow up without their father. I pray for a future where all children can grow up without the devastating effects of sexual abuse. Ladies and gentlemen, Nancy Ziegenmeyer, wife and mother of three. And remember, tonight at City Hall, a Women Take Back the Night rally. Hope to see you all there. like I'm this big expert telling everybody how to be better. And inside I know I'm not better. It keeps coming back. I know that's what I was running away from. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it don't make any difference. You see that I know that I have a long way to go. But I think it helps to look in the right place. I think that the work that I'm doing is really important. But I also know I need to be here with you and the kids. I know that now. Where are you going? You need to be here now until you need to be somewhere else. For the longest time, I felt that I had nothing, that I was nothing. I thought that Bobby Lee Smith had stripped that all away from me. Now I know he couldn't do that. I'm taking back my life, Stephen. And you're part of it. I never know what you're thinking. I need to know. When you said that I was running away, you were right. But I need you to see that I am here now. Can you see that? Or are you just too ashamed? I'm not ashamed. Yeah, you are. Just like everybody else, you think, because I was sleeping around, that I deserved it. I'm not ashamed, and I'm not ignorant. When you were sleeping around, you were giving it away. 
When you were raped, it was taken from you, and I know the difference. So what is it, then? Is it just because you think that I'm a bad person? That's because I'm... Because it hurts. Oh, Stephen. It hurts. It hurts me. See you with another man. See you dancing on a table for other men. I don't understand why you need that. Because I love you. Anyway, I do. <laughs> Let's go inside.